everybody and welcome to Homestead Tessie. On this episode, it's Thrifty Thursday, but I get stuck in a storm. Oh, I hope you stay tuned. Let's get right into the video, shall we? Well, everyone, what time is it? It's Thrifty Thursday time. And I got a few items. Now, I didn't get a lot, and so here's the reason. I am deciding every week to give more to the thrift store than what I get back. But I got some really good and, well, I got some really neat things I think you'll like. I got a whole bunch of free things. I'm really watching my pennies. This is week two of being able to go to the thrift store and it didn't cost me anything. I used the rest of the gift card. If you missed week one, it was a special surprise to me, something that never happened before. A subscriber went to my thrift store and got me a gift card and they kept it there. And when I went shopping, they told me, hey, Tessie, you got a free gift card. That was exciting and I had a couple dollars left let me show you what I got. I'm going to show you what I got and then I'm going to show you a little bit of a video clip of what I'm making with it. So for 50 cents each, I got these tins. And they are really just regular tins, 50 cents each, but very vintage looking. Of course they're not, but I just thought they were adorable. And they had three of them and I'm going to make something with them. So we got three of these, so this was $1.50, and for 50 cents, I got this. Now, I bet you're wondering what this is. Well, let me show you. 50 cents, I got this, and it's supposed to be advertisements from 1911. So we have all these advertisements from 1911. Well, I'm gonna make something with them, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video what I'm making. It's all kinds of advertisements. Now, in a book like it, it's like this, you know, what would you do with it? But I think you're gonna understand when you see what I do with this book. So keep watching because there's a craft coming at the end of this video. And then for 50 cents, I got these seeds. I don't know. I'm sure it's very, very old, but I'm going to plant them and I usually have pretty good success with it. So I'm gonna work on that. Right, so here are things I got free. They had a lot of these patterns. Oh, and I know a lot of you lovely people out there love to sew. But I did get some of these patterns for something we're gonna work on this winter time. I'm not gonna to try to work on it this year. I don't sew, everybody asks me. Everybody asks me about my aprons. I sell them, they are under $16 and they are amazing. I don't sew. I can't sew, but these are patterns that I think that I'm going to be able to make something with them. They were free, so I thought they were kind of special. And then I got all this free. Let me show you what I got. This one I'm gonna spray paint because this is your just generic everyday basket, but I am spray painting that one. Then I got these two little ones, which is gonna go in my canning and I got these two little ones, which are going to go into my potting shed. And then this one I thought was really unique and it was free. I'm not going to paint this one. I like it just the way it is. So I got all these for free. I got this for free. Now, you guys know, I don't know what it is with pillowcases, but you know, I got some pillowcases for free, but these are really cute, adorable, and there's no stains on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these up. And I might use these as tea towels because they're cotton, they're great for what I use stuff for. I use this for tea towels, for putting on top of bread. You can't tell that anything different, but they're just really, really cute. I always like linens that I can get for free like this because I use all kinds of rags and all kinds of dish cloths, but there's no there's, there's no stains on them. And I can use this 
as cheesecloth, you know, for all of my projects that I do. So it's a whole bunch of like this and it was free. So I like having these then, you know, if it gets really messy, I can just throw them away. So it was a whole bag of these little cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these really, really good. I'll probably put some Clorox to them. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm gonna wash them and get done with that. All right, everyone. Behind me is dark clouds. It is hot. It is muggy. It's going to storm. And I'm going to show you what I'm working on here. So let me go ahead and put all these things away. I'm gonna put my pillowcases in my portable washing machine, let them soak. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with that little book for 50 cents. I know people, I know you tell me all the time, Tessie, stop doing that. I get yelled at all the time, Tessie, stop saying goodbye when your video's not done. I do that because this is the deal. You see, I do everything for a reason. So this is the deal. Half the people want my videos long. Half the people want my videos short. Half the people who want my videos long complain that the videos are too short. People that don't like videos long complain they're too long, they want them short. Boo, 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 boo. So then I say goodbye to the people who want my videos short, and then I say hello to the people, then I say hello to the people who want my videos long. And the longer I sit out here, the more chances of me being struck by lightning, because it's like getting really, really dark. And I don't like storms. When I was five years old, I was struck by lightning. Let me rephrase that. When I was five years old, lightning struck my metal door that I was standing on and my hand was on the doorknob. Lightning struck our front door, hit me, and I fell backwards and I was unconscious. But I came to right away and I'm okay. <laughs> That's just a little tidbit about me that a lot of you don't know about. But yes, yeah, so I don't want to be hit twice. So I wasn't necessarily struck with lightning. I was shocked by lightning. I guess there is a big difference in that, right? Oh boy, here we go. It's getting dark. Oh yeah, it's getting dark in here. Chickens are all in the house. Yep, the baby chicks are outside, but they're in their house. They go in and out all the time. But yeah, it doesn't look too good out there. So, I'm going to say goodbye. I can't paint this one basket now because it's getting cloudy, but it may be the next day when I show you what I'm working on with that book because it requires electricity. And when there's storms, you should see me. When there are storms around, I turn off all the electricity, I turn off all the lights or anything that's on. Mama always taught me that. Did Mama teach you that? When there's electricity, when there's storms, you turn off all your electricity and you never, never, never get a shower or a bath in a thunderstorm. Mom always told me that. I don't know if it's a wives tale or if it's true. Is it true that if you're in the bathtub and with a storm, it can draw the, the, draw the lightning? I don't know, but I gotta get in. Oh my word, it's getting dark. Okay, let me go put this away first and leave the camera on. Hmm, can you see how fast I can run? Oh, let me tell you what, if I see one streak of lightning, I can run so fast, you wouldn't believe it. We live in a hollow, so what happens is the high winds go way up over our house. Like the trees are really blowing. It's actually really windy, but you can't see it here in the hollow. Let me show you. All right, I gotta get in. That would be a viral video if I'd be out in the middle of a storm. Yeah, I don't think so. Tessie doesn't have too many viral videos. <laughs> you know what? I think Thrifty Thursday should be a viral video. Boy, it's like already dropped 10 degrees since I'm out here. That is crazy. All right, I gotta go put these canning jars in the canning garage. So I gotta go ahead and do that quick.
everything in. Ah. Ah. I used to love storms when I was a little girl, but when I was five years old and got struck with, you know, got shocked by it, I became deathly afraid of storms. I am so afraid of storms now. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and make that and just show you here at the end, because I gotta get inside. That's what it looks like. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoy what I make with these, with this book. And we just put them right through the label maker. We'll put them right through the laminator. And that's the finished ones, beautiful. And then I'll show you the finished product. Then I'll show you the finished projects in one minute. All right, with my 50 cent book, I made all of these beautiful labels and these are tags. So you can put them on home baked goods. You can put them on homemade candles. This one says soap, so you could use that for soap. I left the tags really long in case I need them to put around a canning jar. These can be bookmarks, all of these things. And then I had this one, which is really, really unique, which I'm gonna put somewhere and display that. I think it's just so cool. So there you go, everyone, with my 50 cents, and that's what I turned it into.